Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Christine here and I am super excited to share with you a design team project that I made for Mrs. Cox Crafts. This is a Halloween junk journal and this was so incredibly fun to play, play with and to create. I had so much fun making this junk journal so I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. The, um, the front here, the cover is covered with um, fabric. And this was just some fabric that I actually picked up at Walmart and it was really fun and uh, spider webby for Halloween. So that's why I ended up going with that. And then I just added some really beautiful silver mesh that I got at Michael's and then some beautiful black ribbons. It was kind of a little bit of a collage of different textiles here on the cover. I also have um, the image here which comes from one of Mrs. Cog's uh, printables and this is from Witches and Wizards. I used four printables throughout this um, project from Mrs. Cog Shop, and I will have all four of them listed and specifically linked below. But just to go ahead and tell you, I used Witches and Wizards, a set called The Human Condition, a set called The Pumpkin Patch, and a set called The Black Cat. I actually used five sets. The fifth set that I used is actually... Um, awesome and it is they're all awesome but this one is, is probably my favorite it's just so cool and it makes filling your little tuck spots so easy um, and it's called Halloween sayings and phrases and it's awesome so you'll see that throughout the album as well I have backed this image on some black shiny uh, glittery tulle which is kind of hard to see there but you can kind of see it peeking out and then on, uh, below that I have some canvas. I also have this gorgeous little plate here from Tim Holtz this year's Chris, uh, Halloween rather collection. Sorry I'm working on a Christmas junk journal series right now so that's why I've got Christmas on the brain but anyway um, this says elixirs and potions there and I've just put it onto some tull and some canvas as well. I also have have a spider here which is kind of hard to see on camera um, but it's really cool in person it's a nice black glittery spider there and um, that was just from the jewelry section actually of a Hobby Lobby it was on sale on clearance on the side here I have this really fun tassel which I have hooked uh, to a bulldog clip from Tim Holtz. I have this fun charm here, which is a big old spider. I thought that went well with the spider web fabric covering the journal. And so this is just made up of various eyelash trim, some ribbons, some sari silk, um, some lace. And then I also, of course, if you've seen any of my other junk journals, you know I have a, a fanatical obsession with beads. So I have some really beautiful bead work on the um, tassel as well and so those just hang there the tassel is removable so I'm actually going to go ahead and take it off now um, just because it's a little easier to flip through the book with the tassel off um, so it, it is removable you can clip it on anything you like and um, or just put it right back on the book when you're done journaling and it's super fun to uh, to make super easy to make and a really fun I think addition to your journal now, this journal was made using Mrs. Cog's um, Complete Junk Journal course, which she has available. I will have a link to that below in the description box of this video, along with a code that is unique to my um, YouTube channel. And that code will save you 30% through the end of the year on that course. And that course teaches you from start to finish. It's several hours long. It's amazing. And it teaches you the start, start to finish steps on how to create a journal just like this. And it also teaches you the steps you can take to sort of alter that journal and make it different numbers of signatures or different pages or whatever. And it's really, really, really awesome. I cannot recommend the course enough. And remember, if you scroll down and look in the description box of my video below, you'll see a special code unique to this channel only that will give you 30% off through the end of the year for that course. So it's really amazing. This particular journal is a hard covered chip back. Chi uh, bleh. <laughs> chipboard journal and it is actually three signatures in the course mrs cog does four signatures and all of my other journals have been four but since this was just a little seasonal one i decided to make it three signatures and again in the course you can learn how to do that it's very easy once you know the basics you can fit you can make a journal of any size smaller larger whatever you'd like to do so this is actually four signatures there's 15 pages in each signature so once you fold them you have four 
pages for each one full page, if that makes sense. So you actually end up with over 200 pages in here to journal on. So it's it's really cool. I have it tied here with a Sari Silk Closure. Um, and I will link for you below in the description box to the Etsy shop that I purchase all of my Sari Silk from. Now I'm gonna just clip the Sari Silk phrase for a time after you first uh, kind of unwind it from the spool. And, um, and uh, that's normal. So you're gonna see some fraying. You're probably gonna see me snipping some little stray threads um, as we go along here. That is absolutely normal. And that will stop after a couple weeks. Um, this black is actually the most um, kind of shredding or uh, shedding uh, lace that I've ever purchased. So it's usually not quite this bad, but it is completely normal to have that shedding. This journal will be available for sale in my Etsy shop and I will have a link to that below. And so now let's go ahead and take a look. Let's undo the sorry silk closure here. And I'm not doing it very elegantly because <laughs> I'm standing up and trying to get this in the frame here of the camera, but it's really easy to untie. And uh, as you can see there, there's that beautiful sari silk. And again, it's shedding a little bit and then it's totally normal. I tried to pull off all the little shuddy pieces before I came on camera, but um, like I said, it'll shed like that for a couple weeks, but it's really pretty and it really makes for a lovely closure. Before I completely open the book, I do wanna show you the beadwork on the side. If you've seen any of my prior videos, you know there's gonna be beadwork. So um, a lot of these beautiful beads are on either um, head pins attached to um, safety pins or they are on coilless safety pins or uh, paper clips. So um, that's how I attach my beadwork in my journals. I like to paper clip a lot of fun little images in there for you. And uh, then of course you can keep the paper clips or you can take them out, clip them on something else, do whatever you would like to do with them. Um, but uh, but they're really, really fun. And I think they just add some fun and uh, whimsy to the journals. And I really, really like using them. I also have some fun little uh, charms. So here's a little witch's hat. And all of my charms are either on the coilless safety pins, like this one here, which is the cat on a little moon, or they are on um, little owl clips like this one. And I found black owl clips really cool on us. Uh, so you can't even really see the clip hardly because it's black and blends right in with that lace tab there. But um, they're either on the coil safety pins or the owl clips, the charms are, and then the beads are either on the, the, the coil safety pins or the uh, paper clips. So that's that there. You can see I have this fun little pumpkin charm as well down here, A pump, another larger pumpkin bead there. Um, a bat charm here. Let me turn it so you guys can see it. And then this fun little kitty cat charm here. And then along the top, I also have some more beadwork, such as this beautiful flower here. This is just a, a paper clip. Um, and then some beautiful uh, orange beadwork colors here, uh, a pumpkin here. So just some beautiful uh, beadwork that just sort of adds a little fun to the journal. And I also have linen, I'm sorry, um, cheese, uh, not cheesecloth. Um, oh gosh, ah, it just left my brain. But you guys know this, uh, this little frayed, uh, these tabs up top here. And then um, of course the fabric tabs and the lace tabs along the sides here as I showed you just a moment ago. All right, so now we are ready to go inside this fun journal. As you can see, it's a little large, but it actually does close um, very, very well. So it's not too bulky at all. It is only three signatures, again, because it's seasonal, so I didn't want to make it too large, but not too small either. So you open it up. I have a little owl clip here with a spider charm. And then I have a fun image here that I've sewed on to the front back of the front cover. And um, again, all of the images that you see will be from Mrs. Cog's shop, except a few little um, things that I've stashed in some of the pockets, which are from a paper collection. A very old one, so I won't even bother saying which one because it's not available anymore, but I had it in my stash and I decided to just kind of just use some of the little cutter parts and some of the little tuck spots. Remember, the things that I stick in the tuck spots, you do not have to keep in them. Um, you can put anything you want in the little tuck spots. I've simply put them in to show uh, the recipient of the journal where the pockets are to indicate that this is a tuck spot because it might not be readily apparent. 
so um, that's why you know there's stuff in every single pocket but you can of course put your own little notes your own little pictures whatever you want in these tuck spots all of the pages in fact every single page in this um, entire journal including the pages that are design paper are tea dyed okay and then they are baked in the oven and then they are ironed so they are heated three different times and then I do some stenciling on them as you can see I got some fun Halloween stencils this year and so you'll be able to see those as we flip through um, and then a lot of the pages I have I've just put quotes on the bottom here before I tea dyed them and that's just for fun and also kind of helps to prompt your journaling um, so for example this one says by the pricking of my thumb something wicked this way comes and that was of course by William Shakespeare so um, yeah, you'll see a lot of different quotes. They're all Halloween or uh, fall themed and stenciling, but the stenciling is light enough so that you can easily um, journal right over top of the stenciling with your ink pen. Okay, so let's just keep flipping here. Here's a doily again, tea dyed, design paper tea dyed. And then all of the papers are tea dyed. This is another image from Mrs. Cog, and this is the little one I was telling you about that comes from the Halloween stayings um, digi printable from Mrs. Cog Shop, which is awesome. And so I cut a lot of these out and stuck them in the the little pockets that I created. Um, most of these images are sewn onto the page. Here's some ledger paper that's tea dyed. So here's a fun little image that I've just paper clipped on with some fun beadwork. And I showed you that beadwork when we were close up towards the beginning of the video, so I won't repeat myself, but um, here's another image. This comes from Mrs. Cog's Human Condition Set, which is really cool. Um, so this comes from that, and it's just clipped on with some fun beadwork attached. Here's some more fun images. They're all pockets, so they all have little tuck things tucked inside, and you can stick way more in these pockets than I did. I just wanted to indicate that they were pockets, so... Um, you know, I didn't stick too much in there, but this is a large pocket. And um, as you can see, I've stuck this one on to some cheesecloth. And then I've done some sewing with some black thread and made a little tuck spot here where I've just stuck a little flash card as well as tags. All of my tags, by the way, that you'll see throughout this journal are also tea dyed. And then all of these, um, index cards that you'll see throughout the entire journal are tea dyed as well. Some of them are the graph paper looking um, index cards and some are just regular index cards. They are all pockets so you can stick um, you know whatever you like in these little pockets. I just stuck a little cut apart from that paper collection in here. It's really fun. There's a piece of the paper that is all advertisements for various um, you know, fun Halloween or supernatural potions or something like that. And this is a potion, the potion ingredients you need to create mermaiden hair. So I just stuck kind of little fun Halloween type things in um, the pockets. Again, using um, either digital printables from Mrs. Cog Shop or that paper collection. Okay, so let's just keep flipping on the back here. And again, this is this is some beautiful design paper from Michaels. And I just... Um, tea dyed it. I cut it to the right size and tea dyed it so the back isn't that bright white anymore. It's tea dyed. And then of course I stenciled. Here's another little index card with, um, and I, and I created a pocket out of one of the little printables from Mrs. Cog's, um, Halloween sayings and phrases and such set, which again, I'll link below. This one says, when need not be a chamber to be haunted, when need not be house, the brain has corridor surpassing material space. Really cool. There's lots of fun little quotes on these, um, and phrases on these cards throughout the journal. Here's a fun, uh, just a little, uh, lace tab with the haunted house charm, which I love. Here is a larger print, uh, printable. It's the one that was on the cover. And so I just stuck this uh, tea dyed index card in here with a little tag just to indicate that it is a pocket. So we can stick that back in there. So you have a pocket and then you have a pocket inside the pocket on the index card, which I thought was kind of cool. Here's another little index card with a pocket. I did some stamping on the index cards as well and also sometimes some stenciling. This is a pocket that I created. I did some sewing and this is just floral Halloween ribbon that you can find in the, um, the seasonal section of the craft store. And so it's just that big thick ribbon. It makes great pockets for junk journals. Here's just another image with a, another little tuck spot here. Here's one another one of those human condition images. And I've just, uh, 
paper clips that in with a fun little skull bead as well as some other beadwork on that. More stenciling, lots of places to journal as you can see. Here is the center of the first signature. So we have this fun image here sewn in and it is a pocket. So I've stuck, this is from the Black Cat set from Mrs. Cog. I've stuck that in there just to show that that is a pocket. And this one, I just stuck another little um, flash card. Again, there's quotes and then the little dangles are created using a punch and some design paper. And then I have placed some stickers on these from Tim Holtz. They were this year's Tim Holtz sticker book. Um, looks like this. I got mine at Michael's with a coupon. And so they just have fun little um, Halloween type sayings. Like this one says horrible sight. This one says in the darkness. So I just kind of stuck those on. If you don't want that showing, you can always turn them over to just show the paper instead. Uh, but I thought it was kind of fun to show the little to have the little quotes on there all right as you can see lots of fun stenciling throughout here's another one of those pockets that I created using um, some black stitching as well as some cheesecloth and I've just made it a little pocket here's an index card I stuck in the pocket with uh, a pocket inside of it so as you can see this came from a paper collection um, and then this is just one of those little flashcards from mrs. cog so this sticks back in here and then on the front of the pocket is another little tuck spot and I've just stuck a postcard and a little tag just to indicate that it is a pocket, a tuck spot there. So you've got lots of little places to tuck away little notes or little pictures or whatever, you know, memorabilia or whatever you would like to put in your Halloween slash fall journal. Here's a fun, that coilless paper clip I showed you when I was doing the close up and it has that fun little charm on it. Here's a lace pocket and I just stuck a couple, um, printables in here. Um, you can journal. I like to journal on the back of some of my extra printables. So I always stick everything I have left in the pockets of the journal, which does add to the bulk, of course. So if you decide that you don't want this one quite as bulky, you can easily remove some of these and just use them for another project or something like that. Another T dot index card that has a little tuck spot in it. And this I just stuck right in this lace pocket. If I can get these guys back in, there we go. And that just sticks right back in there. And of course, um, so you have tuck spots on the front and then a whole side of the index card for journaling on the back. I believe I stuck 21 different index cards in here. So you really could do an October daily um, by journaling on once a day, every day for the month of October on an index card. And as well as some of the printables I've left, there, should, there would be 31 total probably items in here. Or you could add some of your own index cards, whatever you wanted to do. But I thought that was kind of fun as well. And those are all, of course, course included uh, with uh, in the purchase of the journal here's another little tuck spot here with these beautiful images really really fun digital images here here's another little lace pocket that I created and I just stuck this in there more ledger paper again all tea dyed whoops I still got a little shedding sorry silk and that's okay Here's some more, um, this beautiful image I love, and it's uh, almost like, a, it reminds me of like Cinderella. Um, so I loved that image. Okay, and here we are. This is the back of the first signature, and I just stuck another little cute printable in there. Um, just again, to indicate that that is a tuck spot. Here's the beginning of the second signature. Again, just a cute little image there that I just stuck in to indicate this is a pocket or a tuck spot. We have some quotes here. This one says, shadows mutter, mist replies, darkness purrs as nightness, I'm sorry, as midnight sighs. And that's by someone named Rusty Fletcher. It's really fun to kind of go research quotes and, um, you know, include them in the part of the research for every journal that I do. And Halloween is pretty easy. You know, sometimes when I go and do the book journals, the book series journals that I've done, I actually read the books and find my own quotes and stuff like that from the books. But um, it's a lot of fun to do. It's just part of the process of creating these fun journals, and I love doing it. So these are just some little um, cards that I have added to this pocket here that again, I've just put on some cheesecloth. And then the front, of course, this is just an image from the pattern paper collection. And uh, this is a cut apart from the pattern paper and I just made it a little tuck spot for a little tag there, as you can see. So that closes like that. And then here's some design paper again. This was from a Michaels uh, paper pad that I've just placed an index card. I made a little pocket of lace here on the top, on the front there, as you can see. And this is just a little 
index card and I have a little tuck spot right there. So that goes right in there. Um, and then on the back of that, again, I tea dyed all the papers, including the, um, the design paper. So it's tea dyed on the back and I've just clipped a little um, image here, as you can see with some beadwork. Here are some larger images. So you have large tuck spots in here too. So I can fit this whole image in here, as you can see. Um, you can fit whatever, again, whatever you want in these little pockets. So I just kind of stuck some either leftover um, images or flashcards or just something, just to indicate that it is a tuck spot. But you can put whatever you like in there. Here's a, a little index card and I've placed a flashcard in there because it is a tuck spot more design paper, which again is tea dyed on the, on the back. Tuck spot. Just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. And that's a quote by Jack Skellington in The Nightmare Before Christmas. My little one, my seven-year-old is obsessed with that. This right here, I wanted to try decoupaging a napkin. So I just put it right on my tea dyed uh, paper for my journal. So it just gives it a fun little look. It doesn't take up too much space. I was just kind of playing around with it. And it was too large of a design on the napkin to put it on like an index card. I wanted the whole thing to, to show. So that's why I just put it right on the paper. And so it's not sticky at all. The pages do not stick. I Mod Podged it on, let it completely dry, and then went about finishing the journal. So um, it's just a fun little extra. I've never done one before and it's really fun and it's not coming, it's not going anywhere. It is stuck on there. So I thought it was just a fun little extra. Here's another little index card that I made that's a tuck spot and here's a pocket of lace that it just slides right in. Another image with a little tuck spot. I did make some little pockets out of some of those um, flash cards. I just sewed them right onto my page and then I stuck some fun little tags in there. Um, all the washi tape that you see is just from my stash. Um, I didn't get any new Halloween washi this year, so um, it's just kind of been sitting around for a while in my stash. Here's another tuck spot here, another one with tags up here. Here's the center of the second signature, and again, I've done the little punches here to create these fun little banners. And I do have some stickers from the Tim Holtz collection. One says Peculiar and one says Witch Market, and they're made out of pattern paper. So that's the center of this second signature. And then here we go, just continuing on. I'm gonna try to start flipping a little bit quicker. My videos are always super long, I know, I'm sorry for that. Try to, you know, balance it between people who wanna see everything and also people that don't wanna be bored to death. So <laughs> sometimes they get a little long, but um, it's okay. So here's just a little tuck spot here that I created. And then this is another one of those pockets with the cheesecloth. There's a little tuck spot on the front and then you pull this little index card out and it is a tuck spot as well. And there's some washi tape on a lot of the index cards as well, just to give them a little fun, less plain looking look. And there was another little cut apart that I put, I'm sorry, not a cut apart, a digital printable that I also stuck in that pocket as well. So there's that. Again, lots of space to journal. Here's some more little um, pockets that I just stuck some tags in. Um, doily design paper, design paper. Uh, I thought that was really pretty with the bats and the Ouija board little thing and I um, thought that was fun. More stenciling, ledger paper. These are little tuck spots here. A little image that's clipped with some fun beadwork along the side and along the top here. And then underneath here is a little tuck spot that I've done with uh, lace. Here, as you can see, and I just stuck another one of those human condition printables from Mrs. Cog's shop in that pocket. Here's another lace tag. I showed you this closer up, but it's a little pumpkin charm. Alrighty, whoops, this came off. Let me just go ahead and stick this um, little paper clip back on here. There we go. Okay, that's my little pumpkin paper clip. There we go. Okay, and now we are here, which is the, uh, the, the beginning of the third signature. Okay, so this is a larger tuck spot, and it's just an index card that I folded 
to fit. And I made a little pocket out of one of these printables from Mrs. Cog's shop. It says, Ghosts Recreated When the First Man Woke at Night. And then I've just stuck some fine little, um, a cut apart from the paper, a little ticket and uh, a fla another flash card in the little pocket there. So again, pocket upon pocket. I like my tuck spots for sure. Here's that fun little bat charm I showed you when we were close up. Doily design paper, design paper, which I put, added a ribbon pocket to. This is also floral ribbon. Let me take the, the index cards out so you can see it a little bit better. It's floral ribbon from the craft shop. I've had this one for several years. So I did not get this one this year. But if you go to the seasonal section of any craft store um, and they will have, you know, Christmas or Halloween or Thanksgiving, whatever the season is, you can get this wide ribbon that's meant for to wrap your florals or do wreaths with. And I use it as little pockets. It's sort of the perfect width for um, fun pockets in your junk journals. And then I just stuck some of these little um, index cards that also are pockets inside of this floral ribbon pocket. Okay. Here's another um, fun clip here with some beautiful black beadwork. This witch can be bribed with chocolate. Yes, she can. So that's that quote there. Really fun. I didn't read all the quotes, but I promise they're all really fun. Nothing super creepy or scary or anything like that. They're just fun Halloween quotes. And some are just fall quotes as well. Here's another pocket that I created with the cheesecloth behind it, some lace work along the bottom, and then I did um, a cut up a printable. And then a little index card that's also a pocket. So it goes right in there. And these two slip right down into this pocket. And you can fit more than I have placed in any of these pockets. They're all um, pretty large pockets so and pretty generous pockets. So um, you can really fit more than I have. I just put a few things in to demonstrate. A little tuck spot there. During the day, I believe in ghosts. At night, I'm a little, excuse me, I'm sorry. During the day, I don't believe in ghosts. At night, I'm a little more open-minded. <laughs> so, fun quotes. Here's a little um, from the Black Cats series in Mrs. Cog Shop, a fun little printable I just stuck in here. Um, more of that different floral ribbon. So I sewed this to my page here, and this is fun. It has ghosts in it. And so I have a little index card with a ghost flashcard sewed in to make a little tuck spot. And then I just had some uh, cut aparts from the digital Mrs. Cog Shop collection of the cats. That, I, Like I said, I like to just stick the extras that I have into uh, my pockets. You can do with them whatever you'd like. You can take them out, use them for other projects. You can journal on the back of them. Uh, you know, whatever you would like to do. So here's... Um, Another little bat charm back here that I showed you when we were closer up. Um, some really fun uh, print up digital images here are from Mrs. Cog Shop. I really love this center spread here. This is the center of the third signature. So on the, the one on the left here, I have a little um, index card that I did some stamping and stenciling on. And I made a little pocket out of this flash card here. And then I just folded the... Um, the index card and it fits perfectly right in there and of course you can journal all over that index card This image is large enough that I could fit a full index card without having to fold it at all inside this one and it is a little um, Tuck spot and then this is just another image from her black cat mrs. Cog's black cat uh, Digital image collection. Here's the little tabs in the that, that come down from the inside of the, the signature again I've used the um, tag punch and some stickers from Tim Holtz. This one says, remember the tale. And this one says by moonlight. So I just chose really fun ones that were small enough to fit on this um, space here. All right. So here we just have our beautiful tea dyed papers and some lots of stenciling here. Here's a fun little witch from Mrs. Cog's digital collections. And here is a little, uh, again, a little note card or, um, I'm sorry. Um, flash card that I made and uh, made a little tuck spot there and I just folded it so it would fit right in here. Actually, it fits this way. Okay. And sometimes I just like to leave the little um, uh, string from the tags laying out, but they can also just fit right in that pocket there so you don't have to see them if you don't want to. Like I said, sometimes I like to leave them out, but it's up to you. Okay, here's the other side of this large pocket with that ghost floral ribbon. 
And I have shopped a lot in here. So I have this card here that I made. It's another little tuck spot. And then just some beautiful images that were very large from Mrs. Cog's uh, shop. And I want, I didn't want to fold them because they're so beautiful. Um, so uh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's the cat. So I just stuck these just like this on uh, in straight into the pocket. And there's lots of white space on the back. I print these on uh, ultra bright cardstock. So you could definitely journal on the back of them if you wanted to. Um, or like I said, you can use them for another project. You can do whatever you want with them. But I just like to include them since I've already printed them anyway and they're absolutely beautiful. And they go with the theme of the, um, of the, uh, the journal. Why not include them, right? So here's another little card here that I just stuck some little uh, doodads into. And same with this one here. Again, these are made from, made sewed um, with... Uh, I just sewed right onto the card and created little tuck spots out of these little flashcards from Mrs. Cog's shop. So as you can see, I have two folded index cards that fit perfectly in this pocket, and you could still fit more in here if you wanted. Here's another tuck spot here with an image and another index card. Fun little tuck spot. Again, some of these little um, things that are clearly paper came from the little paper collection that I used. But almost everything is a printable from Mrs. Cog's shop. There's just a few little extras um, from the paper collection that I thought were fun to include. That's a cute little witch image. Just stuffed that in there. Some more of the little flashcards that I sewed right onto the page to make little tuck spots out of. Lots of quotes, of course. Another clipped image here. Beautiful beadwork. Here's another little pocket. Um, so there's a tuck spot here and then a tuck spot in the back. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn, and cauldron bubble is the little tuck spot there. It's on that flash card. Here's a little stamp here and um, just some little doodads I stuck in there. And this quote down here says, ghosts and goblins come to play on October's final day. Very cute. So I'm gonna just take this out and uh, just kind of rearrange that for a minute. Okay, there we go. Back of that page, more ledger paper. Here's the other half of that paper with the spider ribbon and I just stuck a couple digital printables in there. Again, you can journal on the back, those if you wish. And that's it. And here is the last page of the journal. It has a little tag here, I made a little um, as you can see, I made a little pocket out of this quote, which says, I of newt and toe of frog, will of bat, ton of dog, for a charm of terrible trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. And that's from Shakespeare as well. And then I just kind of did a large scene here that I stenciled that I thought was really pretty. And then here is the back of the journal. Um, like the front, we've got a little owl clip at the bottom right corner here, and there's a cute little witch charm. She's really cute on this owl clip with a couple beads. And then um, we have this gorgeous image, a Tim Holtz Hocus Pocus word um, image. And then it's a little tuck spot here as well. And I just stuck a little tag in there, um, but you could put anything in the pocket that you wished. And so that is the, um, the journal. As you can see, it lays completely flat. And so um, it is, you know, not only is it kind of artistic and fun with all the quotes and beadwork and all of that, but it is entirely usable as a junk journal as well to actually write in. I always send closed pins with all of the journals that I sell from my Etsy shop and I um, send these free as just a little extra thank you. And so you can use these in your book to sort of clip the pages open and then you can just write away in, in your journal um, and these just sort of help because they are a little bulky because I added so much extra fun stuff which again you can take out if you decide to purchase this journal and don't want it quite as bulky as I have it here. Okay, so I think that that is it. I will again link Mrs. Cog's course. I would not be able to make these journals without her course. I really cannot say that enough. Um, the course is amazing. It has written instructions as well as several hours of step-by-step -step video instruction on how to create these gorgeous journals. And then like I said, um, in her course, she actually makes a four signature journal with you. Um, this one's three and I learned how to modify the sizes and width of the spine and all of 
of that um, and how to do the hidden spine for any size journal that I want through her course. So it's definitely well worth the money and you get 30% off if you use the code from my channel here. So definitely check that out. Check out her uh, Mrs. Cog's digital printables that you see um, throughout uh, this beautiful journal. And if you're interested in purchasing the journal, the Etsy link is below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm really excited to share this with you. I will be back very soon with um, a bunch of Christmas journals. I'm going to make a lot of them. Um, this year. So hopefully um, there'll be something for everyone uh, when I'm done with them all. But I'll, I might show them one at a time. We'll have to see. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. And then I'm also going to come back with some tutorials of things that I do in my junk journals. I'm just going to really um, keep adding content to this YouTube channel. I don't just want it to be finished journals. I also want to do some teaching, some more card making, which some of you originally started following me for. And, um, you know, just a little bunch of everything. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys so much as always for stopping by. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks so much guys. Bye-bye.